Here with Quan Brown. You're here as an assistant coach. Uh, could have been playing in your fifth Pan American Games this year. Uh, tell us what happened. Yeah, well, um, don't want to really go through these stories. A bit uh, embarrassing. Uh, but yeah, I ruptured my Achilles um, five weeks ago. So really disappointed um, because it actually would have been my, my sixth Pan Am oh, Games. Six. Yeah, so I was looking forward to it. I was training really well and in good shape. So a bit disappointed not to play, but obviously delighted to still be involved and be here. Right, but nonetheless, here as an assistant coach, and you do a lot of coaching on the field when you're a player, what's it like to be on the sidelines this time? Well, I've, uh, it's a little bit different um, with, with, with doing for Trinidad and Tobago. I've, I've done it before at club level, but now uh, with international, it's, you know, it's the passion for playing for your country is a lot higher. So it's, uh, it's, uh, it, I'm finding it quite difficult to, to deal with not being able to play, but uh, I still think I'm able to help a lot, contribute, and uh, by motivating the players and helping a bit. Uh, with the, some of the tactics, with the seat, the head coach. So it's still, it's still quite enjoyable. I'm heavily involved. Um, actually, I feel like I've just played. I'm uh, exhausted. It was a, a tough game for them, and I can, I can feel it as well. Yeah, close game. USA taking a two-one lead. It, it looked really physical out there. What kind of things were you saying to the players uh, on the bench to help them refocus? No, just think about the. Uh, we spoke a lot about this, the process. Just, I yeah, know, it, no, it's hot as well, um, and there's a lot riding on it uh, because quarterfinals meant. Um, I know every game here is tough, uh, but. Finishing second, if you won the game and finishing second, it meant that your quarterfinals could be a little bit more, a little bit easier. So uh, that was the, the aim, to try and get a win, of course. Um, but at the same time, you know, just stick with the, with, the, with the process and do the things. Uh, don't get too emotional in the game because we know it's important. Just try and do the things that we, we spoke about. And what do you think is really going to help them moving on in the next round? Uh, well, obviously, good recovery right now. And then uh, we're going to have to spend lots of time going through some video and finding a way to to, to deal with Canada because they're also playing really well. They, uh, they've they almost qualified for the Olympics already. I think it's, I think it's already almost there. Um, and they're in good form, uh, scoring some good goals. So we, it's going to be pretty tough. So we're really going to have to um, yeah, do a lot of work preparing and make sure that we get it spot on all preparation. And lastly, with your with your injury here, obviously you're going to continue to rehab. Are you aiming to come back to play still? Oh, definitely. For some reason, it's given me a extra bit of motivation to, to come back and, and play. And because I'm missing it so much, I still feel ill before the games, uh, before they play while I'm coaching. Um, so I'm going to take my time with my with my, rehab, with my rehab, and uh, I have my, my English, the English league to go back to as well. But I will definitely want to, uh, to play a few more games for, for Trinidad and Tobago. Excellent. Well, thank you very much. Good okay. luck in the rest of the tournament. Okay, thank you.